I had never even heard of the term narcissistic supply until I got into a relationship with that woman and I really wish that I had. That is a quote from somebody that I uh, spent quite some time in therapy with me some years ago and he talked about kind of the beginning of the relationship and when he looks back he could see that there were red flags there, the fact that this person wanted really to isolate him. He ended up moving to quite a remote cottage of all things out in the in, in the English countryside from the city because that's what she wanted and convinced him that's what he wanted as well. And as soon as he was there, it was it was awful for him. He, he just couldn't go anywhere. He couldn't do anything. She'd drive off, leaving him literally, emotionally, financially and geographically and actually isolated. He found it really difficult. It was a poor Wi-Fi system. He couldn't get his mobile phone to work very well. It was a really, really difficult situation for him. And when we talk about narcissistic supply, we're talking about narcissists who are looking for somebody in their life to give them validation, to make them feel special, to make them feel entitled, to make them feel unique, to make them feel number one, superior. And remember, in narcissistic relationships, every person that comes into a narcissist's life is just a transaction. And what can I get from that person? Can I get a career boost? Can I get money from that person? Can I get shelter from that person? Can I get food from that person? All those things. But most importantly, can that person give me narcissistic supply? Can they make me feel so special about myself? And often that is at the expense of the original person, my gentleman who I was talking about that ended up in the middle of nowhere, literally. Um, he was the narcissistic supply for this, his girlfriend. And when she would have a bad day at work, I particularly remember him talking about this, when he, she, he, she would have a bad day at work, she would come home and just berate him and just be awful to him. And anything he'd done was not good enough and would go around trashing the place. And, you know, because she wanted to make herself feel better because she'd had the bad day at work by making him feel bad, feel coward, feel terrified in certain circumstances. And it was unfortunately that usual situation where he was a, you know, reasonably tall and, and muscular chap and she was a quite tiny, small person. And he felt nobody was ever going to believe him. In the end... The situation got so bad that he managed to leave when she had gone um, abroad to visit her family and he'd managed to leave and he went back and moved back in with his mother, which he found, you know, really humiliating, but it was the best place for him to go. And she, when she returned and found out, she tried to get him to come back and tried to put all the responsibility of the relationship on him and tried to get his mother on her side. But his his mum knew what had been going on. It was a really, really difficult situation. And, and, and this guy was traumatised. This guy was absolutely traumatised. And he ended up not... For, for some time, he was um, a quite well-educated uh, um, guy. But he ended up doing... He couldn't do that because he couldn't focus on that because the, the relationship had just been so awful for him. It had taken all of his self-confidence. So he used to just kind of do odd jobs for his his mom and his mum's friends. And that way he kind of was able to build up his confidence. But this is what happens when you are dating a narcissist. They will try and take a, you as their new supply. And when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, they will take more of you as their new supply. And as that relationship goes on, what little you have left, they will just hoover up because that's what a narcissist feels that they are entitled to. If you believe that you are in a relationship with a narcissist and you are being their supply, then there are things that you can do. So first of all, a little bit of education about what a narcissist is and what they do. And this is why you're watching videos like this. Um, make sure that you keep your friends around you because the narcissist will try and isolate you, literally, in my gentleman's case. But keep people near to you. Um, even if you end up 
distantly kind of contacting them through one way or the other. Just make sure that there's somebody there, your place to go mentally and maybe physically, because that is really important. The narcissist will try and take you away from that and leave you with no options whatsoever other than to stay with them and being their supply. And it, you know, know who you are, not who the narcissist wants you to believe that you are, which is this construct that they have of you, which is just to give them constant, constant, constant supply of feeling validated and special and marvellous and unique and, you know, all the things that a narcissist feels about themselves. I hope this has been useful for you. Please subscribe and leave some comments below and share. That would be really great. It just really helps the channel if you do. And also, if you've had any experiences like this, please put them below because that would just be so useful for other people to see the light at the end of the tunnel if they're the ones that are stuck in this situation at the moment. Thanks ever so much and please really do take care.